null method tan a position procedure the arms of the magnetometer are adjusted to be parallel to the aluminium pointer the compass box is rotated so as to make the pointer read zero degree to zero degree on the circular scale thus the magnetometer is arranged in tan a position the first magnet of moment m1 is placed at a distance d1 on one arm of the magnetometer the second magnet of moment m2 is placed on the other arm such that similar poles face each other its position is adjusted so that the poles face each other its position is adjusted so that the pointer reads zero degree to zero degree and its distance r1 from the center of the needle is noted the two magnets are reversed pole for pole keeping the first magnet at the same distance d1 and the position of the second magnet is adjusted so that the deflection in the circular scale is zero and its distance r2 is noted the magnets are interchanged on the arms and the experiment is repeated keeping the first magnet at the same distance d1 the distance r3 and r4 of the second magnet for zero deflection are noted the average distance d2 equals to r1 plus r2 plus r3 plus r4 by 4 is noted as d2 the ratio of the magnetic moments of the two magnets is determined using the equation m1 by m2 equals to d1 cube by d2 cube the experiment is repeated for different values of d1 and in each case value of m1 by m2 is determined theory the two magnets m1 and m2 are placed on opposite arms of the magnetometer and the distance d1 and d2 are adjusted so that the magnetic needle shows no deflection then the two fields produced by the two magnets at the center of the magnetometer are equal and opposite in tan a position the center of the magnetometer is on the axial line of the bar magnets if 2l1 and 2l2 are the lengths of the bar magnets and b1 and b2 are the induction fields produced by them then b1 equals to b2 that is mu naught by 4 pi to m1 d1 by d1 square minus l1 square whole square equals to mu naught to m2 d2 by 4 pi of d2 square minus l2 square whole square m1 by m2 equals to d1 square minus l1 square whole square by d2 square minus l2 square whole square equals to d2 by d1 if the two bar magnets are short magnets to m1 by d1 cube equals to to m2 by d2 cube therefore m1 by m2 equals to d1 cube by d2 cube